Back to cortisol. Yesterday I talked to you about how exercise related cortisol is actually beneficial to help you lose weight and drop your belly fat. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you the four reasons why you're probably gaining weight and belly fat due to high cortisol levels. You're probably chronically stressed, you probably have poor sleep, your eating habits are terrible, you probably don't work out as much as you should, or you might be working out too much. The first type of cortisol that you're probably overproducing is from chronic stress. You could be a worrier, you could have a lot of stress at home, you could have work-related stress, and what ends up happening is that each one kind of leaks into the other. And so your body's constantly producing this negative chronic stress, and when you produce this negative chronic stress, then what's happening is you could lead to weight gain and belly fat. Number two is your sleeping habits. Your sleeping probably isn't great. You're so stressed that you're probably not sleeping at night. You're probably not able to fall asleep, much less stay asleep. And when you're deprived of sleep, then it disrupts your cortisol regulation. So then it's going to have you produce excessive amounts of cortisol. And this can promote weight gain, especially in your abdominal region. Number three is your eating habits. And if you are consuming high processed and sugary foods, even if you're not eating junk food, but if you're going and you're going to Tim Hortons drive-in and you're having yourself a double-double and then you know two hours later you have another coffee with sugar and cream and then two hours later you have another coffee, sugar and cream and somehow that donut ends up in your mouth or you have that bagel or whatever it is, these things causes spikes and crashes which then trigger cortisol release and this is probably contributing to your weight gain, especially in your stomach. And if you're not working out a sedentary lifestyle, which most people actually have, because if you're working from home, think about how much you move. If you look at your watch, if you have a smart watch, look at how many steps you're getting. And if you're not getting 10,000 steps a day, then you're not moving enough. And you're probably living a sedentary lifestyle. And so if you aren't moving enough, and if you're not physically stimulating your body, then guess what? You're gonna have these cortisol levels all out of whack, and you're not gonna be able to manage these high stress levels or high cortisol levels, and it's going to prevent you from losing weight. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, where there are a select few that actually push themselves to the brink of overtraining. I've personally experienced it, and I felt this feeling of overtraining. And these are the people that work out more than they probably sleep in a day. <laughs> right? They go to bed exhausted and they wake up sore and still exhausted and they're just over pushing themselves. These are the people that are generally working 12, 14 hour days, four days of the week and then they go to the gym almost every single day and even on their days off they're really pushing themselves to the limit. And these are people that are participating in probably more than just what Fit Club has to offer. Like training for a full marathon at the same time doing three workouts at the gym. And when your body is in this overtraining state, your body doesn't have enough time to process a lot of that exercise-related cortisol. Thus, it could then be related to your weight gain and your belly fat gain. But there's only a handful of people that I know that are actually overtraining. So these are the people, like I said, that are doing probably two, three workouts in a day they're going for a five to 10K run and then maybe doing an extra bike ride with maybe a home workout. Like not many people are doing that many workouts. So this might not be related to you, but I did want to put it out there. So to recap, if you're not an overtrainer, meaning you're training all day long, seven days a week, then it's probably one of the four or all of them related where you live a stressful life your job is stressful, your family is stressful, your life is stressful. You aren't sleeping enough so you're not managing your cortisol levels properly. You're eating unhealthy choices consistently throughout the day and you're not moving enough, much less going to the gym enough. Then guess what? That's the cortisol that you don't want. That's the cortisol that your body cannot process properly and that's the cortisol that is leading to your weight gain and your belly fat gain. Now, I hope this video was super insightful for you. If it was, give the video a like, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.